Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Droid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. Baldur's Gate 3 is having audio or sound is not working, it is crackling or distorted, popping audio issues and how you can fix this up. Let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you are having this issue is all about, you need to follow these instructions that's definitely going to work. So I am going to give you first three steps, this should be work in most cases or else you can move to the next one. The first one is all about you need to try Vulcan mode from DX11 mode. So just launch the game like this. Once the game is launched, you'll be getting this, close this, get started and skip all these things and this is how it looks. So by default this will be in X. so you can try with Vulcan. You can try with the Vulcan and try launch the game. This is the first step. So once after trying with this, if it's still not working, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. It worked for many users so you can try this out. I found this from community as well as from the Reddit. So just go over here, select the game, right click and go to properties, go to install it file and just click on the browse. That will give you the installation folder if you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, baldus gate 3. Now from here go to bin. Now you'll be having this particular folder, launch the game from here instead of launching it from Steam. This is what you have to do as the uh, second step. Also, uh, I'm going to show you one more step. So instead of uh, navigating the installation folder from the Steam shortcut, you can also use this particular one. Go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86. Now from here we have to go to Steam, now from here go to Steam apps, now from here go to common. Now from here if you check on the Baldur's Gate 3, now go over here, go to the bin. Now from here you have the folder you can launch the game as well. So this is also how we can launch the game from installation folder. So you need to launch the game from installation folder and once after that if it's that's not working we'll move to the next one. Next one is nothing but we have to install graphics card. I don't know how but for few users they mentioned it worked for them and many users in the steam community forum they mentioned this so you can try this out let's not take any chances so just go to google chrome so i'll be providing these link in the description that nvidia as well as the md you can also search in google chrome nvidia graphics updates will be getting this one this is official page now go to this page and over here will be getting the options like you know you can select the product product type titan legacy you can select the product type go to the product series from all these things you can go to the product over here and go to the operating system if you're on windows 11 go for windows 11 because i'm using windows 11 go for every details and go for start search when you go for start search what happens is you'll be getting the latest outdated released versions of graphics card that is 536.67 which is released on Tuesday, July 18, 2023. So you just have to download this one, install and restart the PC. Same way, if you're on the AMD, just go over here in the AMD, select every details over here. Once after that, go for submit. And when you go for submit, you'll be getting these two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. Once after that, restart it, install it, restart, and you have to start with this. Once you're done with this one, if that's not working, after updating the graphics card, if still the issue is persisting, you can move to the next one. Next one is all about we have to restart the game. So if you're on the game, just close the game. Not only closing the game, just go over here at the top. You can also quit the Steam, restart your PC completely. Once after that, launch the game once again. I mean, launch the Steam once again. Now launch the game and that will be working for you as well. Next one is all about we can uh, try to check the volume mixer. So over here, if you go over here, you can see. So right now, if you go over here in the sound setting, if you go to the sound over here, you can see that the voltage has been set into 58 and this is 100 percentage. So imagine this is muted. This is muted as well. You will not be listening, you will not be able to hear any voices hereafter. So it is quite important that you have to cross check yourself, the volume is not muted, you have to check the mixer which is very important. Simultaneously, you have to select the right speaker as well. So if you go over here, you can see Realtek R audio is the speaker, even for the microphone I have said the same, so which means I have selected the right speaker. So it is very important that you have to select the right speaker or else you will be having the trouble as well. Next one is all about we need to set the sound sample rate. For this we just need to go over here in the search, over here in the search. Go to control panel, we need to find the control panel. Go to the uh, network hardware and sound, go to the sound from here. Now select the speaker, right click over here, go to the properties, now go to advanced. So go over here and make sure we are having four options, select 24 bit 4400 hertz or 24 bit 4800 hertz. You can go for anything. Once you set this up, you just need to close all these things, 
you have to close this as well and you have to try launch the game even if it's not working the next one we need to turn off the spatial sound so just go over here in the search we can go to the control panel once again go over here in the hardware and sound select the sound once again now from here you have to select the speaker right click and go to the properties go to spatial sound and if you find over here will be having the option if it is turned on you have to turn this off go for ok close this and go back and try launch the game next one we need to disable the oculus if it's already enabled so same process go over here in the search go for control panel go to the hardware and sound now from here go to the sound over here now if you find the oculus is here you have to disable it select the oculus like this go for disable you have to disable it once after disable is done just close this and go back and try launching the game next one we need to update the driver so just go over here in the start right click over here and we have to go to the device manager now from here we have to go over here go to the sound and video over here and realtek r audio is my driver so just select this one and make sure it is up to date and you have make sure it is up to date or it's updated once after that you can close this and move to the next step last and the least step is all about we need to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file this will cross check every single files of a game if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed which even result to cost this up so that will be fixed and once after that just close this launch the game and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye